Ralph. Ready? You're good. Sorry, we're, we're, we're trying to make a move. You almost got in trouble, man. The fuzz is on you, buddy. Can't keep the fuzz off you, man. Thank you, Ralph. Hey, my name's Devin. It's nice to meet you, man. Yeah, thanks for driving us. When I text you, we were together before. I saw some cool things. All right. And the day begins. Right now we are on the way to, uh, to see our friends at Vivo uh, to shoot some content um, for about an hour or so. And then we're gonna be heading over to iHeart. And I believe we're gonna be doing a little three song performance in the little performance space in the lobby there, which is so cool because I've been, I've been to iHeart, you know, two, three, four times now. And I've seen that performance space and I've seen other people perform there like on YouTube and stuff. And so it's kind of really cool that I get the chance to do that finally. And, um, I think we're gonna play a couple new songs that we haven't really done acoustic yet, um, just to change it up a little bit and give something, give something new. But it's still crazy to think that we're just getting started, and you know, I have my first single out, and the album has a date now, January 19th, and um, crazy to see where it'll go from here. I started playing music when I was 12 years old with my twin brother. And uh, he played drums and I played bass and we started a band like with my other best friends, kind of a garage band thing. And so as soon as I got the bug, I knew that that's what I wanted to do for a living or that just that's what I was put here to do, I guess. There was a year there where after high school, I toured for like five years in a band and I took that band kind of ran its course and I took a year off and I kind of like tried other things like bailed hay for a while and I worked at Home Depot and I worked at like a pet food store and I went to culinary school. Like I, I did a bunch of different things just to make sure that I didn't need to do something more secure than music. And I quickly realized that this is what I was meant to do. Like this is what I'm supposed to do. I met my whole entire band the first day, almost my whole entire band, but I met them the first day I moved to Nashville. We were all in the same dorm together at Belmont at Hale Hall. And um, we've been jamming ever since and so it's crazy to see, you know, you always talk about where do you want to be in five years or where, where were you five years ago? It's like I was still with this group of friends, um, but we were, had no idea what, you know, that we would be still playing together five years later or that they would be playing on my first full length album as a, as a solo artist and you know, in the studio. It is cool to bring the same, the same people along the journey and have them uh, kind of witness the metamorphosis or whatever you want to call it along the way because um, that keeps that keeps, keeps me in a good headspace and and they have a great time as well because they're just as just as much a part of it as I am so yeah, baby. so one of the first times we came here as a band uh, it was my guitar player Nick's uh, 25th birthday and he'd never been to Times Square so we walked down after a whole day of meetings and playing and it's like this red step thing, I guess, that we all, you know, wanted to be tourists and take a picture and we all kind of sat up, sat in our own like little formation and, and it was still one of my favorite pictures because it kind of reminds me of, I mean, it wasn't the first time I'd been here, but it was the first time that I'd been here with my band and I kind of dictate like this season um, about where I get to travel with them. It's a, uh, I don't know, I feel like we all have rituals or we all have like, I don't know if they're necessarily superstitions, but things that make us feel comfortable and get us into our comfort zone when we wake up in a different city. Um, but for me, coffee is just a huge thing. And I don't know if I really need to like psych myself up or pep talk or anything. I kind of just, I'm more like calm and collected and just excited to do this rather than nervous. I always say I like, I combat nerves with excitement, which helps a lot because there's a lot of cool stuff that we've been doing and it just helps to be excited to do it so that when you get there, you're ready. Um, but coffee is usually the answer for sure. <laughs> Gotta have it. Cool, thanks man. You wanna get out of here? No, it's all good. You know I always like to carry my stuff. I hate when people carry my stuff for me. I just want to do my own thing. Y'all ready? Wait, close, not yet. Ralph. 
Ralph is the man. Thank you, Ralph. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> that was awesome. So that's New York right there. When your cab driver stops the bus coming at him so you can cross. Guitars up. He totally, he totally set a pick. He totally set the block. I was like, whoa, there goes Ralph. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.